Hey, it's Carson from Amateur Volkswagen. Just want to give a quick tour of our 2015 Mazda 3 GS Sky. It's also the hatchback version. It's about to show you here shortly. So this right here is our 2015 Mazda 3. This is the GS Sky. It's also the hatchback version. Personally, I do prefer the hatchback version on the Mazda 3 here. They do look a little bit better here. But this one is in black, jet, black Mica, black version. Um, what Mazda has on their black, um, being an older vehicle, this one does have a little bit minor rock chips here in the hood. This one is going to be powered by Natural Aspirated 2 liter uh, inline 4. Pretty fuel efficient engine that the Mazda 3 hatch is pretty reliable too as well. You get your headlights over here, a little bit of rust there from the rock chips. But obviously being a pre owned car, it's not going to be as perfect. So this one is the 6 speed manual as well. Moving to the wheels, you do get multi spoke wheels on these ones. So looking here, they are 16 inches in specific, also MS rated. So MS rated, you can take up the Coca Cola if you want. Tire trim is still pretty good. Also, being in the hatch, you do get a little more space here in the back. Kind of unique design too as well. But I'll show you the damage it has. It has a little door ding right there. It does have a little bit of scratches here as well, and a little bit more scratches here in the door. But obviously, being black, black is a little bit harder color to maintain. You keep it well maintained. It looks pretty good too as well. A little scratch there as well. But being the hatch, obviously got a nice looking rear end in my my opinion. You got your two exhausts down there. Mazda 3 badging right here. It's got active technology there as well. So these are gonna be front wheel drive vehicles. Trunk space on this always being a hatch. A little more space as well. You are able to fold those seats down for a little bit extra space. So these are another set of tires. Uh, I have to confirm if they are, but I believe so. So they are kind of these aftermarket Mazda black wheels that they come with. So there's some curb ash in these, but so pretty good. Tire tread in these, you can tell. Decent amount still on the left on these. Um, again, these would be, I believe, summers by looking at the tread here. But so, pretty nice to have another set as well. Just have to confirm if they do come with this uh, vehicle here. But moving on to the passenger side, not much different on the passenger side here. Look closely, there is quite a bit of dings here too, as well. That, and then another one here as well. So, back seat space on these cars. Got a decent amount, as you can tell, it fits two tires here. Um, it does come with the rubber floor mats too as well. And everything, so if I kind of move here, it does have armrests and cup holders there as well. Make it a little bit more comfortable for people in the back here. Passenger side here, manual adjusting seats. It does come with the cloth seat, so it's kind of two-tone-ish. Uh, grayish and black is what the Mazda has here. Again, with the rubber, car, uh, rubber floor mats, a little bit nice bonus as well. Door panel here, got your power locks, your power windows here. Mazda has a little kind of fake carbon fiber accent trim that they do on their vehicles here. Moving to the main part, the driver's side. The driver's side, same thing, manual adjusting seats. Got your mirror adjustments here, lock controls here, and also your window controls here as well. Heading to the cockpit of the Mazda here. So, this is what the cockpit looks like. Pretty nice looking cockpit that Mazda does, even with their gauges here. So this one does have 136,380 kilometers. Mostly highway driven, hence why a little bit higher kilometers. It is push start as well, a little bit nice bonus. Leather steering wheel, do you get the red stitching on the steering wheel here too? And also cruise control settings here. Settings for all the infotainment systems here. So answer your call, change your media, you change your volume up too as well. Light settings here. Track control button off here too as well. Mazda 3 does come with a little screen, so it does come with Bluetooth as well. A little bit nice of a bonus, but if you go in reverse per se, let's go C4. It does come with the back camera as well. A little nice bonus to have. Pretty easy to use too as well. And then moving to your climate control settings, heated seats on driver and passenger side. Single climate control, AC plus pretty cold still. Southern compartment for random things here, CD player. Six speed manual transmission. Uh, my opinion, the way to go. Manual is a dying breed. Old Mazda 3s are known for their manual transmissions. So, very nice transmission that Mazda does produce on here. It does have some wear. Obviously, being a little bit higher mileage here. But, settings here. It's going to be dials for infotainment screen as well. So, it does have a navigation option. But, this one doesn't have the chip for it. So, if you want to proceed with navigation, you would have to get the chip here. Manual handbrake. Nice to have. Two cup holders. And also, a decent amount of sound and console space. But, two USB ports right there. SD at a 12 volt right there as well. That is majority of our 2015 Mazda 3. So thank you for watching my quick video walk around on our 2015 Mazda 3. If you have any questions, 
want to stop by just to ensure this vehicle is right for you, give me a call or text back my direct number at 604-832-8768. Talk to you soon. Bye now.